guys here mid-october and i'm back to talk about um my progress and a few change-ups i wanted to i want to mention to see if you guys want to follow along um i am my little green tree and i am on instagram i have a blog i need to stay updated on it it has not been updated for a while um but i'm trying to get on that so um i did a little bit of cross stitching stuff so i want to show you guys and i actually recorded a little bonus video and you guys life happened and it sat on my phone and now i'm recording this and so i'm gonna see if i don't overlap from previous like i have to remember what i recorded in the last video so we'll go from there so first off i guess it's starting to feel like fall and I'm so excited to have a little bit cooler of a season happening. Today it's a little cloudy and it's welcomed here. Um, I have been so shocked at how hot it is for fall time. Like usually sometimes in October we, got, we would get um, snow and I... There's nothing like that happening, which I'm not gonna lie. It's kind of nice easing into it, but it is hot. I think this next coming week, it's supposed to kind of go down temperature, so we'll see. So a little life update with fall and summer wrapping up and fall here. My kids have been wrapping up their, um, their busy schedules. I have a daughter that did tennis and she just wrapped that up and did her little tennis party and um she, it was it was it was fun but she was like I know I need to do better and she was she's trying hard so um her last game she won and so it was really nice to have her go off with a with a bang I guess you could say or go out of the season with a bang and, I, and it was really nice for her um I have a daughter that does cheer and her football team last year, this year, I guess there were so many signups for football that they separated um, teams. Sorry, I have my daughter. Hi. Hi. Um, so I slept One second. I slept. Okay, I guess I saved the day saving Barbie from a helicopter and I don't know. There was a Barbie emergency, so <laughs> we got that figured out. Um, I was followed on top of that with two dogs and one of our cats in our room. So, so don't mind me if they get in the way there, we're kind of close quarters right here between me and the bed. And so I'm hoping that they settle and can chill out for a second. So that's what's happening around here. Um, I have, I have three dogs actually, but one doesn't come inside cause he is a giant and he loves to be outside. He would prefer being outside. And so he hangs out outside and then we all play together outside. My other two are golden, re well, one's a pure golden retriever. And then the other one is a golden cocker spaniel. And then here's one of my cats. His name is Bagheera and the other one is Raja. And, sh and he's purring quite loud. I don't know if you can hear that, but um, he sneaks in. We we have him outside with his sister all the time, but his sister can't come in. She's kind of end it. It's the end of her life a bit, and we're just dragging our feet to to take her in. Um, I know it's probably better if we take her in sooner rather than later. So there's times like this where. I let him come in and he he's usually indoors with us um okay so anyways back to my kids so yeah and then my other my my oldest son he just finished flag football my husband was his coach and that was really fun he made a touchdown and it was just a good season for him um he's just this little guy and he's just so excited but anyways there's my updates for the kids that had sports that were wrapped up. I have two more. I have um, another little girl and she's doing dance now. And, and then I have my youngest little boy 
and he's got eyelashes that reach the sky like I don't even know where he got his eyelashes from not for me I have short stubby ones <laughs> Um, and my husband, he doesn't have them as full. He has them longer, but they're not as full. Um, I'll see if I can find a picture of my baby and his eyelashes. But anyways, he's taking a nap. So let's see what we can wrap up. So now to the actual stuff you guys are here for. <laughs> um, so I guess I'll talk about this really quick. So I don't want to forget that I have it hanging on here. Sorry, and I didn't clip his nails. He's getting a little caught in my, my clothes. Um, so here is what I made. I think I had. I think I put this in my bonus video that I did not put up. So um, this is my quiet book. I had talked to you guys about that I have a few to do. So I make a few occasional few of these to put in my bag. So when we go to church or go to like a doctor's visit or something where they need to be still or even in the car, I'll pull it out and hand out one of these. So this, you could totally see the stitching in the back and it's because it's supposed to have another quiet page on it um, of a different sort, but I keep them separate. I'll probably keep them separate until all my littles are a little older. And um, that way I could spread the quiet pages between my kids. But this one was a hit over church this weekend. My oldest two, which are teens, they were playing with these little farm animals. I have to show you. So here's the hen and they are, sorry, I hear my dog. So they're kind of being loud over there, scratching at something. And then here's a sheep. Cute little, cute little sheep. The pig, I think he's my favorite. I don't know, I like the hen too. And then here's the cow. And this one is the crowd favorite. <laughs> um, I told my kids, I was like, I should make little tiny baby chicks and some little piglets and little cows, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if it's an, worth the effort. My children might lose them and I don't know. <laughs> Granted, these will probably all get lost and found all over again. It's just what happens with quiet pages. They get pulled out and I just have to make sure to gather everything. So this is it and they just, they just play, play with them. And then this, the reason why it has such a large margin is I will um, put grommets on them and then hooks or loops on them and we'll have all of our quiet pages. But anyway, so this is a couple things I do. Um, so this is kind of like my sewing slash um, embroidery floss work. Cause there's a lot of blanket stitching and whip stitching going on in those and French knots. So for the eyes and anyway, so that was what I did. Um, I don't know if I actually got any quilting done. And it was because I focused a lot on my cross stitching. So I, let's hop into that. Um, so after I shot my last video, I, I, I love kind of changing things up for me. And I noticed the five day, one hour thing was great, but I was starting to kind of get bored, bored, I don't know, of doing the consistent thing for five days. And I kind of wanted a little excitement, you know, like just, just my umph, uh, but a little change, I guess, for the fall season. And so I saw that everyone had been, or many of you have been doing a spinning wheel app. And so I decided to get into that. And I was like, you know what? I'm kind of in the mood to stitch Halloween slash fall or like my monthly blocks. So when I downloaded my app, which I actually can't show you guys because I'm recording on my phone right now, but um, I'll put a picture up. I got a, a running or a line of, um, I guess I could show you what, what I got. So I wrote down my cross stitches that I wanted to work on for October. And it doesn't necessarily mean that I'm going to work on them because what I ended up doing was I threw them all on this wheel and um, 
and then the wheel I spin every morning and um, and depending on what I spin then I shoot two stitch for at least an hour a day on that so um, here's my running and I actually started this back in September let's see is this September yes this is my September so it, it looks like I started this back in on September 29th and um lo and behold I rolled a Halloween party and so I started with that so I guess I'll just jump into that and show you my progress on on it so I'll just pull it out um Sorry for all the crinkling. I never remember to do this before. Like take them all out. So this is Helen Party. A crowd favorite with my children especially. And I have had Halloween's party called four times, guys. Today I got another call uh, called and then like the two days ago I wasn't able to work on it. Like I pulled it out and I think my little boy was like just fussy. I don't think he had a good nap. And so he ended up just wanted all wanting all the snuggles. And so yeah, it looks like I it's been called four times. Anyways. Oh, <laughs> I didn't pull it out. <laughs> um so I decided to I'm I wrote it down and I obviously didn't get it done. And I could have stitched it the next day. I love the roll of the wheel, and so I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna roll it twice like or I mean roll it the next day I just need to make up for it and I don't know if that's the wisest most wise idea because then I have like debt in stitching um but you know what it's right now it is what it is that's how I'm going I might change things up later anyways so this is what you want to see so I got more done with the witch and so she's getting close and then I started the haunted house frame and the haunted house. So that's so fun. So I made a big mistake with this, by the way. My mistake was, oh, I'm sorry. I need to sneeze. <coughs> Excuse me. My mistake is that I used white fabric. So... <laughs> I just wanted, I just grabbed from what I had and this fit, fit the bill. And so I went ahead and used it and I just realized that I need white for all around the frames and for certain things. Let me show you that, um, the picture again. Okay. So do you see all the white that I'm going to need? And I'm using white fabric. So it obviously is fine around the frames because, you know, I could just leave it and call it good and it looks like the frame is there, but what do I do with the ghost when it's white? And so my husband and I were talking about it and do you see how it's off white? I think what we're going to do is outline this stuff or I'm going to do, my husband doesn't do it. He just admires it and tells me good job. So. <laughs> um, so the things like the words, I could just leave white and, and cross stitch around it. Um, but the things that have white next to the white barrier, I'm just going to make sure I outline, which it does kind of look like they have an outline anyways. I'm just going to stick with like an ecru or something like that. Um, yeah, so that's what's been called a few times already. So that was fun. So with this spinning wheel, I did not leave like a balance on it so it asked me if I wanted to balance them or or make it fair and I said no I just I'll take what I get so there is a chance that a few of my patterns will not even be worked on and I'm okay with that because I want to be able to work on things that I want to work on oh my goodness it might rain today I hear the thunder and that is so exciting to me I love this weather a um, little bit nervous because my husband was supposed to put up lights tonight, like Christmas lights or not Christmas lights, those those lights, you know, that stay attached to the house. We have them like half done um, and we need to finish putting them up. But if it's, oh my goodness. Okay, um, that cut me off because I needed storage. I forgot to clear out some stuff. So 
Whoops. <laughs> um, I don't even remember what I was last talking about. Oh, um, oh, about my spinning wheel, right? Okay, I hope I don't repeat some of this. Um, I'll do what I can to edit, but <laughs> five kids is a lot and I'm limited. So, um, okay. So I put everything on my spinning wheel. I spin it, whatever goes, goes. And so, um, yeah, I just roll with the punches. I roll with what comes and it's been really fun. I post what I can on my Instagram. So if you want to follow along with what happens every day, I do my best to get it early in the morning, just so in case I get an hour through the day, then I'll just pick up my cross stitch and I'll do that. Um, so I'll do what I can to post it in the morning. If I don't post that day, it might be because life got crazy, which is exactly what happened on the 11th. It looks like I had a day off and <laughs> I literally wrote day off. It was just too crazy. So, um, okay. All right. So we showed Halloween party. The first official one that was called, um, was log cabin and you know what I literally found a basket and I just put all my patterns in it so I mean not everything I have everything for this month so I'm hoping everything is here and I don't have to have to go searching for it <laughs> um okay so log cabin um oh yeah okay so this one I was really excited. So this one is something I want to stitch on every month. Um, and here is my progress. So I did not take before and after pictures. So I'm just going to tell you what I did. And I'm going to do my best to take pictures uh, for next month. Uh, of what after my October like if it gets called I'll take a picture of my before and after progress unless I have it somewhere um but with this one I went ahead I don't know what all that noise is I don't know if it's the city doing the work or thunder <laughs> I, I can't tell um okay so I finished these trees and oh my goodness you guys, everything is working against me. I have kids with friends here and they're living their best lives right now in the other room, but I can hear them yelling, like having a great time. And so I apologize for all the noise. Okay. All right. Let's move past that. So this is my log cabin. This is where it's at. I went ahead. I believe, I don't know if I added any more snow. I don't think so. I think I just added the trees this time. So that was fun. That was really fun to do. I remember doing this one. I did this one at nighttime. Everyone was asleep and I put on my first like fall vibe kind of video and that was fantastic. I love that. So, um, okay. Halloween party. And then I had Halloween and in, in, uh, Chida, I think that's uh, what it's called. I looked it up and I think that's what it said. I looked it up earlier this month, so I don't remember. It was something like that. Okay. Um, here's the pattern. So I'm so excited for this one, guys. I'm hoping to give, do giveaways for all the things I finish because I don't mark them up and I don't have any reason to keep them. But if they are bought for and downloaded, I don't feel right giving it because I print it off, but I still have a copy. So because of that, I will not be giving away this one. Um, unless for some reason I delete my copy on my computer. That's all I could think of. I just want to be like as honest as I can. Um, and so, but anyways, this one I got from Etsy and I love it. I love, I love it. And so, um, this one, I actually changed the fabric. If you can tell, this has more Halloween vibes and you could tell my progress. It's those two skulls and that purple basket bowl 
whatever it is and I am so excited it it's so cute and then here you could have you see my hocus pocus needle minder that I love so much I did feel a little bit gypped with this one so this is this fabric I meant to say this fabric is Halloween evening Manny de Dona. It's a 30 count linen. It's supposed to be a 17 by 25 inch. So what they did is they um, cut it. And I know it says that they it could be off, but I was a little bit frustrated for the cost. I just felt like they should like stick closer. I think it's closer to 15 inches, guys, instead of 17. And you know, if you're already getting like a tight fabric, like I'd have to go up a whole, like the next size just to add like two inches, you know what I mean? And so, but I, so I obviously when I bought it, I didn't expect it to be that, but they gave me a really long piece to make up for it. So it's like, instead of uh, it's 25 inches, like 27, almost 28 inches long, but it's like 15 inches wide instead of 17. It could be like 14 and like, uh, I don't know, like a half or something or three quarters. And so I, this is going to be a tight one. Granted, I don't frame. So honestly, well, at least for right now, I, I don't know. That's how it'll always be. Um, but I'm not planning to frame. Well, actually I had considered framing that one and pulling it out for Halloween. I, I don't know what I'll do. We'll see. But if I do go to frame, I almost feel like it's a bit chipped. And it didn't come surged. So it's like I have to surge, which obviously takes takes the edge away. And I'm like, I'm just a bit frustrated with it. For the price, I, I love the color. And I love the feel. The cut was not a good cut. The, the finish of the piece of fabric was not good and and to top it off guys like obviously i got an edge piece because it still has um this piece right here this edge cut piece and you could tell and it's like thicker and it's just right like you could tell this is the edge of the fabric so this is saying it is like 14 something like 14 and three quarters I, I believe something like that and it's counting this edge piece the selvage like it and and so I'm like okay so I'm already short this like it's already like over two off and then and then you add this to make it so if I took this part away on top of that it's like another like half an inch I, it's like 14 inches, it's like three inches off. Like I'm a little frustrated about that, but oh well, I just had to, I don't know if that's normal. Um, I'm starting to order a lot more like specialty fabrics and everything's been good. Everything's been great. That one's the one that I'm like, oof, I don't know. I don't know if I want to keep trying. I don't know. Anyways, it's not going to bother me too much unless I have to like, I lost so much that I have to dip into that edge. I hope I don't not that close to the edge. I did what I could to keep it balanced and, and measure in the middle, start in the middle, which I've never done before, so I am nervous, but I'm confident that that it's okay. It's gonna be okay. Okay, so my next roll was Eagle Mountain. And you guys are probably like Eagle Mountain. What in the world is Eagle Mountain? Um so it's been a while since I've talked about this one, but this is my full cross stitch and this is my only full cross stitch I have. And I was so excited to start this. This is from Heaven and Earth Design or Heaven, yeah, Heaven and Earth Designs. It's my first one I bought from them. I started this as my leap year one, so I'm hoping to get it done in four years. And you guys, I, the, yeah, anyways, we're rolling with it. So I'm starting it on 25 count white Lugana fabric. So if that is a recommend, the recommended is a 25 count. Did I show you the picture? Like, do you guys see it up close? It is so beautiful. But 
lo and behold, I have to start on the top, this top corner, which is probably one of the most boring pieces of the whole piece. So I was a little bit sad to start it there, and I am struggling. I, I don't know how you guys do it, but I obviously don't have much at all with just an hour. I added a couple more blocks. And then this was like, I added like a hundred stitches here, a hundred stitches there. I added all these and I'm, you guys, I don't know if it's the 25 count, but they, the whole squish together. And so I'm struggling big time to not have the whole stitch together or, or I mean, squeeze up. So I'm constantly trying to like pry, make sure I'm not skipping a hole. And I have had to frog this thing so many times because I'm like, oh, I missed a hole. Oh, that's not supposed to go there. It is hard. And I don't know for you seasoned stitchers, if the holes are like kind of smooshed together on 25 count fabric, is that normal? It, I am stitching two over, what is that? One. Yes, that's one, two over one, which is what the pattern recommended. <sighs> I am kind of regretting it. Like, I I don't know. I, I There's times I'm so glad this spun because I'm getting to the point where I'm hating. Like, I'm so excited to get it done, but I'm hating working on it because it is just a struggle. I'm fighting with the fabric all the time. And so tell me if. You stitch on 25 count. Do you usually do like one over one? Um, or is that silly? Like I followed the, the rules, I guess. I followed the, the instructions of two over one on 25 count for that. And I'm wondering if that was not the right decision. I, I don't know. We'll see. Please let me know. Like you 25 count stitchers on Lugana. Is that normal to have the holes like squished together? Okay, so the next one, okay, I'm really excited. So We're All Mad Here and Quilted Witch. So those are the next ones that were called. Um, I just have to find it. Them. I put this in here because Alice in Wonderland always kind of creeped me out. <laughs> it gave me nightmares when I was a kid. It's just a little weird for my mind, I guess. Um, so here is the pattern and it is so cute. Um, and here is my progress. I was able to do start on Mad Hatter and finish his coat and his hand, start his face. I need to add blush and his eyes. I started his hair. I think I finished his hair too. And then, um, I finished or I'm starting his top hat so this one's a super cute one I thought was appropriate for Halloween so I just threw it on there and it got spun and and chosen so I was really excited for that okay and then quilted witch you guys this is the one I was mostly excited to work on this year um, and I I was I had fun I had fun when it rolled. I was, I squealed. I was so excited. So I just obviously started. Don't mind my, my little, um, what is it called? Cross stitch? No, I'm sorry. Uh, traveling. Oh my gosh. What is it called when you, I, I don't remember right now. Um, cross country, right? Cross stitching when you move on to the next color uh, with the same string. Look at that. I am so excited for the different colors. And then I got this little star done. And this is the start of her skirt. So I barely skimmed. I barely touched. You guys, this is an hour for me um, of work when it, it gets called. And I'm fine with that. Slow and steady. Slow and steady will win the race. Yes. Yes, Jared? Oh, okay. Um, give me a minute, okay? I'll be there in a minute. Okay. 
So I was really excited to get that. And you know what? I still have to, they have a free border. Um, I think I have it on a blog post. I don't remember. I think if you just search for the free border for Fall on the Farm, you can find it on Google. Um, and, and anyways, that is the start of it. And I think I just use that point to continue my squares. So anyways, you could tell the wheel and the top of the wagon. And I am just so excited. That one is fun. Um, I get really giddy when this one gets cold. And then I was so excited. So I'm just going to kind of dive into my haul after this. Um, but the runner stitcher had his marathon run and he had a fun stitch with him um, thing. One second, my kids are calling. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Okay, done with calls, done with things. I think, okay, so really quick, let me show you this before we get into the runner stitcher again. Um, so this was called for one evening, Halloween Quaker from Primrose Cottage. And this is part of my haul. I got this fabric and this fabric is vintage country mocha. It's Lugana 32 count, and I did change it up. I think they called for, actually, I can look it up. Uh, oh, no, you know what? Vintage Country Mocha. I thought I switched it up. I didn't. I, I did the called for. So I it looks a bit yellow on the picture, and so I didn't love it. So I thought I got a different one. Obviously, I didn't, and I like this one, so it doesn't look too yellow for me. I, I really enjoy it. So... I started the two bats, and I want to say I started like this, not like that, so <laughs> that's what I have. Oh, you guys, and I also made a mistake. I was supposed to add three squares, three of these bigger squares, so I'm just going to, it's an easy add-on, and I might just leave a little, the little sprinkle on the, two to, on the top. Do you see these tiny little squares? They were supposed to start here where the second set is, not these top two. But I might just leave them and just add another square. So anyways, so that was part of my haul was this fabric. And it, I'm so excited. I think I showed you guys my haul in my bonus video. And I got this pattern. I don't remember. So apologies if I already told you guys. But as part of my haul, I got this pattern. I got this fabric. I got, I got, I got, I got the floss that goes with it. So I was really excited to get those. Um, and then Primrose Cottage Stitches started this new free um, floss patterns once a month. A free, a free floss pattern once a month and they sent it to all the subscribers for the stitch for the cross stitch newsletter and so go get signed up for the free cross stitch newsletter because this is the first pattern that showed up now if you miss the newsletter you have to buy this if you want it I don't know when they get they get released I don't know if it's gonna be like a next year kind of thing um, but this was a pattern and so now back to the runner stitcher. So he ran his marathon. He did this thing um, where you run or you stitch with him. So for every mile he does, you need to stitch 10 stitches. And I was, I'm pretty sure I did that. Um, or you could just cross stitch the entire time he was running. And that was like four, I think he, he finished a marathon in four and a half hours, guys. Like, applause to him that is incredible so great job um runner stitcher you did amazing so i did this um i did not do the four hour stitching i could not if you could already hear all the havoc i have at home 
on a Sunday where everyone's home and we were getting ready for church and everything and I was I just committed to the 260 stitches and so that's what I got so I am so excited I also got this fabric um, and it is for my haul and it is stormy night Belfast linen 9 by 13 so I was super excited. Let me show you my other haul because I don't know how much storage I have left, guys. So I'm going to whiz right through it um, and hopefully clear up my storage for next time. I'm so sorry. I, I feel a bit frazzled now. <laughs> so, okay. So I got this fabric for, and this is... Uh, 16 count cauldron for my witching hour cross stitch let me show you I have it right here it's my Nora Corbet or Corbett so I don't know if I love it so if it gets called I'll probably start it on this but if it doesn't get called on my spinning wheel I might just save it and get something else for next time. Um, in between on it. I don't know. I guess the colors didn't necessarily turn out how I wanted them to. Okay. Hold your ears for a second. I need to open this again. Okay. So this one is 18 count belt Ada fabric. So I thought this was so beautiful. It is so beautiful. I love the greens and the tans. It just almost makes it look like a treasure map a little bit. But I was thinking because this is also part of my haul. I'll tell you why I had a haul here in a second. It's called We Gather Together by Annie Turner, the proper stitcher. We Gather Together. And I did not, I like, I like the background. It's okay. I was between two pieces. I, or two different fabrics. And I ultimately decided on this one because I wanted a little bit of a warmer tone. I, I'm planning to keep this for like Thanksgiving and pull it out during that time and set it out in like my dining room, in my dining room area or something. Um, I love it, but I'm not a hundred percent with that fabric choice either for that I don't know so we'll throw it on the wheel for next month that's my goal and then this one someone was getting rid of as um I actually haven't even opened it guys uh someone was getting rid of this on their um un, un, unleash not unleash what's it called when they're trying to get rid of patterns and stuff and I bought the whole kit together and it was not too bad priced. So I'm assuming this is the correct fabric called for. I'm not sure. Um, I don't even really know what it is. I'll probably stitch two over two it looks like. I hope <laughs> that's what it is for. Um, uh, let me show you guys the pattern. It's called Token of Love, and I thought this was so cute. Look at that. Our house is blue. It's like a blue-gray, and so I thought this was appropriate. Token of Love. And then, of course, all the flosses in there. It's all kitted up already, and I'm assuming the fabric is... It says 28 count color mushroom Lugana by Zweigart. Worked over one linen thread. Okay. I was gonna do over two. I have I think I have to shift my mindset then. Um I am throwing that one on for next month also. So we'll see if I I it 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 rolls it and I get progress on that. So okay, so I think that was it, guys. That's all my progress. Um, thanks so much for um, being here and watching me. If that was all you wanted to watch, I know I put my family happenings at the beginning and my other finishes. And you know what? 
Where did, oh, I didn't hang up. I got scared. I looked at my finish and it's not there. Um, <laughs> anyways, uh, I hope to get more quilting and things like that done this time around so I can show you a little bit of both. I think I had some done. I don't remember. I need to be better at writing these things down for you guys. Um, let's see. So if you want to follow along with the spinning wheel, please do. I think it's so fun. Post your own, tag me on it. I'd love to see what you guys are working on. Um, I love it here. This is my own little corner and my own little space. And I am just so happy you got to share it with me. Um, you guys have a great week and take care. Bye.